Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic Multiplayer Mod Reviews. Today we are on Aris 3. Now there are multiple maps um, that deal with Aris 3 and this one is relatively new-ish, I think, maybe? I don't know. But this more focuses on uh, infantry battles, um, more land inward uh, of the islands and as you can see by the map there are a lot of spawn points here. Uh, six in total. <laughs> Ryan, really? And it uses a lot of Kashyyyk architecture that, of course, does flow well with it. it. There is some Endor in there as well. And as you can see, even though the map is very open, um, I don't think there are any vehicles, so it is purely based on uh, infantry and therefore has a pretty unique dynamic to where uh, even though battles do take place over a greater distance, again, no vehicles are actually involved. Meaning also this little bridge I am, you know, makes it a little bit more dynamic, but um, it's not very well covered. Meaning I would be an easy target for snipers. Ryan, what is your first impression of, uh, of the map? Is it just me or do things look kind of blurry in it? Oh yeah, actually I forgot to say about that. So, so... You can you can put that blur in there, and some people use it, for example, to like replicate uh, rain on their visor. And I'm not a fan of it, especially where we will have an Endor map coming up that does not have that filter. And uh, I agree with you that um, using that blurry filter uh, does not do any map any good. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's distracting. Well, not a big fan. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's not terrible. What do you I think of the, the of the map? A whole lot to s of the map itself. Again, the map itself oh. kind of has a it's interesting. Um I don't know. It's not there's nothing really jumping out at me aside yeah. from like the, fil the the rain filter thing. I mean, it is a very small map, and but there are a lot of um, points on there. Again, there are six uh, spawn points, so there's a lot of stuff going on there, a lot of movement. I would say, though, that spawn point two and one are too close to each other. There's no real point to having them that close. Um, yeah. <laughs> let me read this. But, uh, Greg, what do you think? What is your first impression? Actually, I don't know. I like, actually like it. <laughs> But um, like the, the the blur is a bit annoying to me. But um, I don't know. I like the force setting. I think the map is well. Actually, we'll see. Uh, can, can we cross the river yet? I have not crossed the river yet. But yeah, there's a little bridge. I think there are two bridges. Okay, can, can, and one can we go through the water? Uh, you should try. Let me test for you. Yes, you can. Okay. Oh. Actually, I wasn't sure about that at first, but, so I thought like, oh, is, like, it, is this going to have a choke point? Because no. I, I don't have to have a choke point like that. Well, that's fine then. You, sh you I mean, should go through the water, because you think you're going to swim through the water. No, 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 no. You walk over the ground <laughs> through the water. Yeah, you just... I just <laughs> that's alright. I think uh, it's a bit close, too. Yeah. It's um, it's not... It, for, for a map that that's open, it's not very... I mean... Look-wise, I think it all blends in well together. Again, there's a lot of different assets used. Uh, the waterfall is a nice little touch there. But again, uh, for a map like this, um, I wonder if using small speeders or light walkers could have just given it that little edge to, to make it a little bit more dynamic. I also think uh, what could have worked is, for example, extend the bridge and create some better cover on the bridge so that you can have some really close quarter... Uh, nice tense battles on the bridge itself. The bridge now, even though it's there, doesn't get used a lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, since you've even walked the water. Well. Have you not played the new Star Wars Battlefront, Ryan? No. Everybody loves Boba Fett. Are... Boba Fett gets his own movie, dude. Yeah. Well, Come on. Well, <laughs> well, the champions aren't necessarily like lightsaber guys. They're just um. I know, but why is he the champion for this map in particular? Oh. Was oh, it Django Fett or is it Boba Fett? Uh, it's Boba Fett. Okay. I don't know, the person making it made a mistake. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, it's Boba, you can play this uh, this map on uh, both like Clones and um, Galactic Civil War, but I decided to go with uh, Galactic Civil War since 
Uh, the previous two maps we did were clones. Mm. Gotta keep it mixed up. And I do know that on uh, my fan base they like the clones the most. But you guys, well, and I, me too, uh, I'm more a fan of the old ones. But I do also like the clones though. I think the Clone Wars animated series is pretty good. <sighs> now there, I might not share your opinion. But if I say that mm -hmm. out loud, or if I admit to that, people will skin me alive. <laughs> like you did just now? Mm -hmm. Like I, I used to, back in the day, I used to not know a certain character's name. People were like, how do you not know this name? You're not a real Star Wars fan. Who's that? Oh, I don't know. A long time ago. Oh, uh, Rex. Fake Star Wars gamer. I was like, who's who's Rex? I was like, oh my god, you're not a thing. Oh no, there's Woozy, the Woozy, 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 Woozy. Ryan, or Max is the main clone trooper. Woozy, of course, had his birthday last Monday. People give him a belated birthday oh shout out. Oh, are we going to sing happy birthday to him on stream? I think <laughs> we should. Go ahead, Ryan. Well, it's not <laughs> fun if not everyone does it. I'm in there no, with you with spirit. I think it's funner if just Ryan sings it. That makes it special. You know, oh my god. So, that, so, so in Holland, right? I don't, I don't think you guys have this in the mix. So when you are oh, four, happy birthday in Dutch. When you are four or five, uh, in elementary school, whenever there's someone's birthday, you are going to so so the whole class sings a happy birthday for you in Dutch, and then also in other languages, and it's kind of like you know to show multiculturalism. And one thing that always we used uh, was, the, it was the normal thing, not only at my school, but just a regular in, in Holland. And in retrospect, it was one of the most racist things ever, is that, so on the, on, so, so we would do it in, in Dutch, we would do it in English, and then we also would do it in German. Um, and if like there was a classmate that was a different language, we would also do it in that language. But we would also do hmm. it in, and they said this true, in Chinese. Now, back, of hmm. course, when you are four or five, we think, okay, it's actually Chinese. But what would we do? And I'm not kidding. And, and the, the, the school mistress and stuff, or, or, or the, 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 the teacher, she, she uh, participated. And to us, it was the most normal thing. It was, okay, we're going to sing it in Chinese. And everybody put their fingers at the side of their eyes, <laughs> pulled it back. <laughs> and the song literally went like this. I'm not kidding. Hunky Punky Shanghai, Hunky Punky Shanghai, Hunky Punky, Hunky oh, Punky, Hunky Punky Shanghai, and we thought we were singing Chinese. And <laughs> the most racist shit ever. Yeah, and now, nowadays they don't, they don't do it anymore, I think, but boy, <laughs> my whole generation all have had that. It was the most normal thing to us. Oh, come on. So weird. <laughs> How do you sing happy birthday in Dutch? Uh... Van harte gefeliciteerd. Van harte gefeliciteerd. Keep going. Oh, god damn it. We have a, we have a black screen. Ugh. I don't know why the screen's black. I have it on, on windowed. Uh, you need the stream? Yeah. Stream's black. Uh, it's mm. alright. We're entertaining enough. Well, this match is also <laughs> almost done. Yeah. Mm. We'll, we'll fix it in a second. It might have been when the, when the game crashed or something. I don't know. Mm. What maps have we got left? We got um, Kotor uh, Tatooine. We got uh, Kothlis. Uh, we have we uh, Landing at Point Fight Rain. Geonosis. Um, and another one. And, uh, Endor Beachhead. Or Endor Riverbed. We've lost the command post. Take it back. We have four maps left. I love how, when I was doing no. that song, the whole black, the, the whole screen was black except for my, <laughs> my webcam. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, do we all choose? Oh, okay. Oh, only one person was on the other side. We should be more careful about balancing who's on what team. No. No, it's fine. You can be whatever. It's for review purposes. Right. <laughs> okay. I think it's more fun to play together. Yeah, me too, actually. Like, I can also actually put it, if you want that, like, I can literally put it to where the game uh, forces us to be in equal teams. Like, if you want to join my team, but there are, like, already people on my team, the game literally says no. Well, so Afro is the only one on the Rebel scene to see, look. Yeah, but look, he's, he's, he's carrying owning. the team. He's yep. doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, um, if you want to check out this map, uh, you can find it in the description down below. If you have any tips for maps that you want us to review, let us know, and we'll see you guys next time.